what's going on everybody welcome back to the tech space and in this video we're going to be going over how to fix your computer if it is went to blue screen of death so that can be two different variations and i'll show the images right here whether you have windows 7 or you have windows 10 you'll have two different images that pop up if you have the blue screen of death now both of these for both operating systems have relatively the same solve now for most cases this is just a simple memory glitch your computer just needs to rehash the hash or the hard drive and basically just recompile it and make sure that the memory is clean it might have been a corrupt file or something that was in there and that messed it up so in this case you're gonna want to do one of three things so if one of these doesn't work just continue the steps but one of them should work so here's step number one so if you have blue screen of death and you are on Windows 7, you'll have a blue screen that looks something like this right here. Blue screen is usually the main thing that you'll get when you have blue screen of death and you turn on your computer if you have Windows 7. Now when you have Windows 10, the image is a little bit different, but it's basically the same thing. So you'll have this image right here with the frowny face on it if you have Windows 10 or higher. If you are getting either one of these images when you are trying to use your computer, you're turning your computer on, or while using it and it's shutting down and then coming up to this screen, what you're going to want to do is follow these steps right here. So step number one, what you're going to want to do is turn your computer off. Step number two, you're going to turn your computer on, but before you do, you're going to want to hold down the F2 key. So F2 is located at the top of the keyboard. Hold down F2 while you press the power button. Let go of the power button, but keep holding F2. What you're going to want to do is wait for that computer screen to prompt you. It should offer you to restore or back up your computer from there. If not, try this with the same process with the keys Escape and the keys F11. So F2, F11, and Escape. Those are the keys you're going to want to try the same process with. So restart your computer, hold down escape, and see if you get the BIOS menu that says restore or if it starts going through your memory to fix what's wrong. Most computers will fix themselves and depending on what computer manufacturer uh, you have, it will depend on you know what button you have to press. I know for my computer I have a Dell, or no sorry, I, I had a Dell. Um, but I think it's the same for Dell and Acer is that you press the escape button but for a lot of computers you might have to press F2 or F11 so once you have followed these steps what you're going to want to do next is make sure that you've contacted your uh, manufacturer the person who made your computer make sure that you talk to them about this issue make sure you check and see if you still have your two to five year warranty which most high-end PCs do I would say at least above $800 you probably have a warranty for two years um, or more maybe so I'd call them make sure that you do not open your computer if you have a laptop or you have a desktop that was not custom made so if you bought your computer you never opened it before and you might have a warranty make sure you figure out if you have that warranty before you go ahead and just start chopping into your computer because you will regret it but I recommend that the only thing that you do to your computer is try to replace that hard drive so that's step number two try to replace your hard drive that is going to almost automatically fix this issue as hard drives usually cause most of the issues um, and most of the issues are stored on the hard drive um, and nine times out of ten you're not gonna have you know some motherboard problem or some problem directly on the motherboard as long as you haven't been tossing your computer around if your computer has the blue screen of death it's most likely a hard drive problem try to replace the hard drive or get the hard drive tested if you do know how to do that it's very simple actually you can search a hard drive test video on YouTube and figure it out within 10 minutes so next what we're gonna want to do which is step three in the last and final step at well I guess the there was already three steps because I said to you know restart the computer, press escape, F2 or F11, that was step one. And then step two was to call customer service. Step three was to replace the hard drive. 
So I guess this is step 4, and this will just be the secret step to this. And this is going to be a little bit more in depth. So what you're going to want to do is when you press the key from step 1, you're going to want to go to your BIOS menu. And in your BIOS menu, under the advanced tab, you can restore your computer to default. But what you're going to need for this is what there is, what's called a USB uh, or a CD recovery disk. So you're going to want to take this recovery disk and put it into your computer. It will basically delete everything on the computer, take it all off, and restore it to new. So if you don't know how to use a recovery disk and you need your computer fixed today, I will have a link to that video. It will be the first thing in the description as to how to actually create this disk and reinstall Windows 7 or Windows 10 on your computer. Now Windows 10 is really easy. You can just search Windows 10 download and I'll show you guys right here. You can literally just search Windows 10 download, go to the what third link, it says disk image ISO file, download the update or the, no I'm sorry, you go down to create Windows 10 installation media, download the tool right here, and there you go, that's basically how you get Windows 10 back. Now you will have your computer on more than likely because it's that blue screen, but what you can do is use a friend's computer, download this tool. Or go to the other video that I've made or you know on your cell phone go to the video in the description watch it go to a friend's computer just download the file plug in your USB stick to your computer and you'll have a brand new computer it'll take you about two hours but I'm telling you it's worth it and that's the last option so those are four ways and the only four ways that you're ever going to fix the blue screen of death I'm telling you guys this right now I've been a tech for over 10 years I've been messing with technology and into technology my whole life I've dealt with this issue since Windows uh, Vista was out and I know this issue t to its core so if you want your blue screen of death fixed you're going to have to follow these steps just follow them in order cut them out if the first one doesn't work try second second doesn't work try third third doesn't work try the fourth and that's how you're gonna solve this issue now I deeply appreciate you guys if you click like on this video click subscribe to the channel it's got tons of great videos like this that are very informative and all of my videos are done to the core meaning that I'm taking all of the information that I can get before I even start my video writing it down taking notes and getting it all ready for you not just based on what I know but what other tech professionals like me know as well so please hit like and subscribe if you're at the end of this video, if you're still having an issue, I would love to help you. Please post your problem in the comment section below. I am known for always replying to my comments. I try my hardest to reply to every single one of you and fix your problem. If not, just give you advice on what you can do to help fix it. Now, if you guys really want help with your computer, please let me know. You can let me know on social media. My links are in the description below. But I would love for you guys to, again, just click like click subscribe and if you have an issue post it in the comment section below on my youtube channel or on this video so thank you guys for watching i appreciate it i will see you guys next time